I wanted to um, write a something, a song that's about um, country artists mm -hmm. and people wanting to um, be a country artist. And I, I didn't know if that um, the series is going to come out, that Nashville series, but it's it's very in tune with what I'm what I'm writing about. So um, I couldn't find a nice name that can fit in with a South African kind of country. Mm. So um, I just use Nashville because then everybody knows it's a country album yeah. without me trying to explain it. <laughs> Why country music? Um, when I started singing, I did a lot of competitions and stuff when I lived in Cape Town, and um, I, I just realized that the, the only category that I really did very good in was the country yeah. part, and I really love country because it's my writing style as well. Um, I write stories, and then I just convert it to, to my song. So, um, yeah, I think I have a very husky voice, not a very fun thin voice like most of the ladies that are singing at the moment, so um, just country suits me very well. Yeah. Yeah. What do you sing about? Uh, what is what can people expect from Alice in Nashville? Um, this album is not about um, anything in particular. Um, we just we just wrote a bunch of fun songs. And um, some of the songs is, um, I wanted to write a song that's not about love. So mm. we did, we wrote like a song that's about girls um, having a fetish over shoes and stuff like that. <laughs> um, then there's also a few serious songs. Um, I wrote a song about um, my brother that passed away about 11 years ago. Mm. And um, so we we hit every kind of point that it, it doesn't matter how old you are, the CD will definitely relate to you. Who did you work with on this? Oh, but what are sort of some of the highlights of putting it together? Um, I must say the, the most fun part of working on this album was I, um, I worked with Dennis East. He produced the whole album with me. And um, he's a very, very good country musician. and. Um, He's, he's got such good talent and um, he, he's very enthusiastic so you always feel boosted and he, mm. he, he gives you ex, um, exceptionally good advice and um, I think that was the highlight sitting in the studio and listening to what he's created, um, that, that was amazing for me. <laughs> How long did it take you guys to finally put it together and say, okay, this is the final product that needs to go out? Mm. Um, geez, we, we worked a long time. We started working in November in 2011 and we only finished in November 2012. So it was almost a year that we, we worked on mm. the It was a year about yeah. working on the album, yeah. I mean, why is this album worth a buy? Um, I think um, what I did was um, I put some English and Afrikaans songs on it. So it, it, as I said, it fits every market and every age category. And um, the, also the people that played, everything is live instruments, nothing is computerized. So we, we really put a lot of effort in it. and. Um, the music is fun, so it's a it's a feel good CD. Mm. So even if you if you're feeling just a bit down, just put the CD in and drive to it. Um, I, I I didn't do a lot of covers because I wanted people to see my style yeah. and the kind of way I write. And so um, I would definitely say um, the reason to buy the CD is just to have some fun and have some sing along tunes in your car. Yeah. Now you represented South Africa in in the US about twice. Talk to us about that. Yeah. Um, it's, it's also one of the competitions that mm. I took, just took part in and um, as I said I did really well my country category and um, it was fun fun doing it um, it's a lot of money I don't think that um, if you I think if you have the money to immigrate there and your parents or anybody is in it to win it then mm. it's good to take part in a competition like that because there's a lot of scouts and um, even if you're in singing, there's also acting scouts and stuff. Mm. So I think um, if you want to make it big in America and you have the money to go over and stay there, then it's a good. But otherwise, um, it was a good experience, but I won't recommend if you're not really moving your whole family yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. How has that experience shaped into, shaped into the Zandra that we're seeing here today? Um, I think um, the, the thing that, that uh, prepares you for the music industry when obviously I did it in Cape Town and then I moved to Pretoria mm. um, was just s sitting there in front of people that's actually criticizing you because you're sitting in front of judges mm. and singing there and you only get um, like uh, 60, 60 uh, seconds to do your song like you have to build your own little song that, that has the soft parts and the hard parts and the chorus and everything so um, I think there, we only have 30 seconds to, to grab your audience. I think that prepares you a lot to, to appear on festivals and stuff here, mm. just to grab your audience in the first 30 seconds yeah. of your song. Yeah. Um, what would you say has been the best part of, about embarking on this journey? Um, I would say the traveling. Um, I've met a f bunch of awesome people and um, ugh, just the way everybody treats you and everybody um, likes to get to know you. and. Um, you make a lot of friends 
on touring and stuff like that. So um, I would say, oh, the touring was was the best part for me, um, especially when you're a few artists on tour, mm. because then ugh, you just get better friends than you were at the beginning, and um, just um, sharing each other's um, passion and feeling, and um, you're know, dealing with people that don't want to pay you and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, you go to that um, through that together and that's that's awesome. All right, Zandra, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. Zandra is our first music guest of the morning speaking to us about her album Alice in Nashville.